Temperatures continue to drop and road conditions continue to worsen, making now a prime time for jump starts and accidents. That one was a little flooded. Dropping temps turn into... Hi, this is Casey with Carnahan Storm. The icy conditions just took her with it. And rolling up to sites like these are just part of the job. Casey Posner at Carnahan's Towing has been pulling up to accidents for over a decade. Fortunately, it's not uncommon to end up in the river around here. Huh? And wintertime is when things really heat up. This cold weather really affects how the battery operates. And then the wind chills because the roads have gotten slick. And they warms up during the day and then they freeze again at night. People end up in the ditch quite a bit or in the river. According to the Montana Department of Transportation, 2021 was a record year for automotive related deaths. And this ice is no one's friend. The whole way until I got here, right down there, kind of heat, so kind of... In fact, Carnahan sees three to four ditch recoveries and countless jump starts daily. During the last cold snap last week for two days in a row, oh just nonstop, yeah. He went nonstop for eight hours a day, two days in a row, and yeah, that's quite a bit. In Montana, the recommended lifespan of a car battery is two years. Any battery after that will see more and more problems with every winter it lives through. So the older the battery, the harder it works to try to get the vehicle to start. So when you get the colder temperatures, like today, being in the negatives, it's more wear and tear on a older battery than a battery you just purchased this year or even last year. Jump starts, ditch recoveries, or whatever predicament you may find yourself in. Help is only a call and a tow truck away. Be there in just a moment. In Great Falls, Lindsay Stinger, MTN News. Well, tonight, Great Falls police are investigating after finding a man dead in a home. According to the police department, officers responded to the 900 block of 2nd Avenue South just after 8 o'clock this morning for a report of an active disturbance. And when officers arrived, they found a man dead from an apparent gunshot wound. Police are not releasing the man's name at this time. They say this was an isolated incident.